Here are today's headlines from easterniowanews.com. The Iowa High School Sports Network will be offering free audio webcasts of the four state championship matches at the Iowa State Volleyball Tournament on November 14th. Those interested in listening to the audio webcast should visit the network's website at ihssn.com. Return to Eastern Iowa News' website for the, t- for the tournament's schedule. In light of the state's revenue shortfall, the Iowa Supreme Court ordered 10 days of unpaid leave for all judges, magistrates, and court staff from December 4th of this year to June 18th, 2010. In addition, the court ordered all court offices closed on the days designated for unpaid leave in order to reduce judicial branch operating expenses by $4.1 million this fiscal year. It is one of many actions the court has already taken or will take to substantially reduce operating expenses. Additional cost-cutting measures will be announced later this week. Currently established closure dates are available on Eastern Iowa News's new on easterniowanews.com's website. The chief judges of the judicial districts may assign judges and magistrates to be available during closure days to cover emergency matters. Some Cedar Rapids political candidates will face off on December 1st in a runoff election. In the at-large runoff, it will be Aaron Saylor versus Donald Carr. In District 3, it's Jerry McGrain versus Pat Shea. The Cedar Rapids Salvation Army is booking reservations now for its annual senior dinner and Christmas party. The event will take place at the Army's 1000 C Avenue Northwest location on Saturday, December 12th. Doors open at 10 a.m. Entertainment will begin at 10.30, followed by the meal at 11.15. The event is for seniors only. There is no cost to attend, but reservations are required. The registration deadline is Monday, December 7th. For more information or to make your reservations, contact the Salvation Army at 319-364-9131, extension 103. The Board of Education of Cedar Rapids Community School District has unanimously voted to build new support facilities to replace buildings damaged in the 2008 flood. The Central Support Campus will be constructed on almost 7.5 acres of district land at Ellis and Edgewood Roads Northwest. The November 9th decision came at the recommendation of the superintendent and followed a five-month public input process. The City of Stanley is discharging untreated wastewater from its main pumping station following a town wide power outage. The Buchanan's count, the Bu- excuse me, the Buchanan County town is pumping wastewater from the pump station to a nearby field. The DNR instructed the city to pump the wastewater back into the sewage collection system or arrange for septic haulers to take it directly to the plant, to the treatment plant. The discharge, which started around 11 a.m. Friday, will likely reach West Branch Buffalo Creek and is ongoing. The city is unclear unclear how much wastewater has been discharged or when the release will end. On Tuesday, November 17th at 7 p.m. at the English Theater, the Iowa City Johnson County Senior Center presents Generations of Jazz. Everyone is invited to attend this free concert featuring the Regina High School Jazz Ensemble, the West Liberty High School Jazz One Ensemble, Linmar's Colton, Prairie High, and Iowa City High School Jazz Ensembles, and the Iowa City Johnson County Senior Center's very own Silver Swing. And those are the headlines for November 10th, 2009.